So we're en route to an event called Cars and Copters, which is something that I really wanted to go to last year, but sadly wasn't available. This year, well, we're taking the copter instead of the car, which is gonna be novel, to say the least. Uh, we're waiting for our Yesco to arrive. Helicopter. James is flying in a helicopter. Yeah. Of course it is. Of course it is. Is it a good driver in anyway, so? You all right? Yeah, good man, how are you? I'm good. What oh, in the Koenigsegg, look at this. We have a Yesco. <laughs> Because you know? I know he's coming in an MD500 and that's not an MD500. Watching 50 odd helicopters coming to that. <laughs> the most efficient way of travel is so good. That is Nelson Piquet's um, ex helicopter. I didn't realise. So, <laughs> casual. So, so the NP. Yeah, that's Nelson, Nelson Piquet. Yeah. Nelson Piquet. Oh, I literally like, found he's out flashing actually landed. Yeah. 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 That's so cool. Brilliant. So, right. Mate, that was a hell of a. It's the most efficient, it's the most efficient way of travel. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's so good. It's so good. I'm surprised that's not in the fleet. Well, not yet. <laughs> after, after today. <laughs> last year, I saw it on social. I was like, what a bloody brilliant idea. Yeah, so we did it two years ago the first time. Right. At uh, Nigel's yeah, house, Nigel's yeah. out there directing yeah. a uh, traffic control, okay. um, and we raised fourteen thousand pounds from mental health charities. Well, and it was uh, it was because his friend had committed suicide and had mental health issues. So again, we were at eleven thousand already raised through oh, all the tickets sold. So okay. and the sponsors have come in and they've sponsored the event, which means we can put it on. And the uh, Ollie and Myra, who own the house, have gifted us the house for the event. So. Do you have a link to a, a charity or anything that I can stick in? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll send that over to you. Really put it in the uh, bio. That'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah. thank you so really much. Good. Thanks for your support. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's right. negotiate this. Hold on. <laughs> you drive the Jesco and you take the helicopter. Because the Jesco's only going over there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, mate, he's got further to go. So, yeah, and I've got a car in the car park as what well. So. Um, oh, that's amazing. That is proper. That is proper job. That's the real deal. That's, that's a magnificent spec. That's the parking flag, please. Thank you. So there's, there's helicopters here that I weren't expecting to be here because Shiro said to me, no helicopters start coming in from 10am. Right. There's going to be something like about 50 helicopters here today. Mate, there's some proper choppers here as well. You know. <laughs> One day, mate. Very soon. One day. That's, um, that's an incredible house. When I glanced at it, I didn't see that three-story glass atrium <laughs> in the middle of the house. Is, that is a truly exceptional. It's probably the most motivational environment I've been in for a long time. It's, it's been just it outstanding. Look at, ooh, the SVJ is nice as well. Didn't expect it to be that much, but it's very what? nice. <laughs> How are you? Very well, thank you. These are beautiful. Thank you. I mean, very nice. Do you? Yeah. You make them? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, the doors articulate and everything. Wow. So they take um, anywhere between Five months, a year. Seriously? That yeah, long? Maybe something like that will take about a year to build. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Okay, all of a sudden it's looking like quite good value. <laughs> in that case. They're, they're, wow. Yes. I mean, when people see the price, they think, whoa, that's expensive. Sure. It's, uh, you know, but it's sterling silver work. as well. Yeah, it's all hallmark sterling silver. Wow. And I make anything. The detail. Doors open, comes off. Wow. And it can take up to a year each one. Yeah, I mean, my big centerpiece that I made uh, took two and a half years to build. Seriously? Yeah, I mean, the detail on that was absolutely nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole order was done on a 50 pound note, and I was actually being able to do whatever I wanted, and that was just like amazing to make a masterpiece. It was just stunning. And what you was know? it in the end? It was an Aston Martin V8 Vantage Volante. And it was like, wow. whoa, it's beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> oh, I did. How are you getting on, man? Good. You all right? Yeah. Let's just say as far as Sundays go, it's not, it's not, it's not bad. bad. <laughs> it is not bad at all. The first time I've been here, the event's amazing. Just amazing. I just think the, the, the concept is genius. 
flew in. Yeah, phenomenal. Well, well Adam arranged it for me, but yeah, it was pretty. <laughs> I put the route into Waze from where I got picked up to here. And it was like an hour and 40. I think I got here about 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, well, we were cruising at 140 miles an hour and Rich was like, oh, it, I can see my village. Yeah. And he was like, oh, if you can go a bit left. And he did, and he flew over Rich's house for over it. House. It was so good. DVS is great. It's got paint protective film on it now, so I'm, I'm able to drive it, but, but I haven't. It's no yeah. bloody time, mate. There's no did, time. Did yeah, yeah, so I had it at PPF, but then I drove it to Glen Eagles, and it's still there. So I'm going to find an excuse to drive it, but when the, this month's chocker, I think in, in June, we're going to do the first drive and I think we're just going to go back to Skyfall Road because we went there like four years ago to do the same thing same shot same car looking totally new it's going to be cool man. how mag is this it's unreal isn't it this is Cars and Copters UK um, it is inspired by Cars and Copters California, the only other place that I know that it takes place yeah. in. They literally have a landing, fly in on a Saturday night as kind of a party, which is really cool. Yeah. And then the supercars come in on a Sunday. Here in the UK, we land them and do everything on the same day. <laughs> the and same it's day. not a choice, five or six amazing helicopters. We've got approximately 44 helicopters coming in today. We've got a few hypercars and we've got some seriously crazy supercars as well as racing cars. But I need to get back to work. We're raising money for uh, mental health charities and it's very, very close to our hearts here. And we'll be doing speeches later. It's the Catalina wine mixer in the air and on the ground. And I think the plan is once all the helicopters land, we'll fill the field with uh, supercars. And so we get to park these next to uh, yeah. choppers. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So they're all gonna land? Yeah. And then we're going to punctuate them with cars. Absolutely. Mate. Do you know what I wonder how we fall into situations like this? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it never get honestly, I'm not this is not a day I'm taking for granted like, oh, here we are on a Sunday drinking coffee. No, like, this is, really I'm I'm absolutely blown away by the caliber of the event yeah. and the people and the cars and the location. So, yeah. thank you Mr. House Owner for letting us land in your well manicured field. Coffee, what, you <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, did you no. fly in? I hung off the bottom of one. In Nelson Piquet's ex-helicopter. I, I, I couldn't get a ticket, so I had to sneak on board. <laughs> I'd like to have a little run on this. I'm sure it would be uh, quite rewarding. <laughs> um, I like to go drifting and things here. Like. <laughs> uh, it's my first time hosting it, and I like the concept. So I spoke to Ciro, and I said, we'll host it here next year. Beautiful. So here we are, we're here, and we got the weather today. Both my son and myself, we do the European Rally Cross Championship and we do a couple of rounds of World Rally Championship. And oh wow! So my young fellow is uh, only 20, he's been twice British champion and he has been on the world podium twice and he's had five European po podiums last year. Our aim is for Patrick to be world champion within the next, this current year or next year. Thank you. Awesome. It's a big push, big ask, but uh, I think we're going to be there. Are you doing it, okay? I'm really, mate, this, we were just saying what a phenomenal event. I you heard it's an amazing event. It's really, it's really, I just, I what a genius idea. Yeah. Obviously I follow your stuff, but I see what you do. Uh, I appreciate, thanks, thanks so much, man. Yeah, it was great. Well, I, I, I didn't really know much about it. I saw it online and then Adam mentioned it to me. It sounded an amazing day, but it's not until you're here. Hell. It's a charity, what? obviously, what I have a great show, concept. I'm autistic in that, so they're very good to me anyway. So yeah, this charity today yeah. is close to my heart because without charities like this, sure. without people like Chiro, yes. you know, That's my great, life's mate. not always easy, but yeah. they make my life Brilliant. more positive. So, yeah, That's fantastic, man. That's Brilliant. Cool. No, great to hear, dude. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Which be so fun. I love your stuff with DD. You know, like when you went yeah. to like, the gun yeah, yeah. Like, your chemistry is really, I love it. It's good it. fun. Well, yeah. this year there's going to be quite a lot of DD, which will be good. So they're coming over six weeks' time for the Gumball Shelsley Wall Shell. Yeah, line. I just want to get to that. You've got to come down to this, man. It'd be great. Look, you've got a carbon wheel in the van. That's the van. Look at this. Carbon wheel. <laughs> so weird. Colour changing lights. Lights in the back. In the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at it, man. It's all the shelves oh. out and everything. It's awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you can fit it out. So say, so your he wants basically. to live out his fantasy and build yeah. a camera man van. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Have yeah. racking in there. Hundred percent. Yeah, you can stack it. Because this, you, this you iPhone, iPhone takes up a lot of space. You want, exactly. Yeah, the yeah. iPhone takes like, up so I much just, room. Just put it there. Yeah, yeah in the glove box. <laughs> Is this the one where the wheel tilts? Yeah. On certain, yeah. So it does. It's in options. Yes, yeah, so you yeah, can put so your laptop and work from it. We can put that in for you. No, I like that wheel. I like that wheel. 
serious bits of kit, aren't they? Man, I thought the exhaust on the uh, Fiasco was big. Retractable landing gear, it's like the real deal. I was just speaking with, um, with one of the pilots and he was telling me about how many of the components on them are lifed, so how many running hours it, it has. Servicing is insane, like insanely expensive. After a certain amount of hours, they have to have a full engine rebuild and all of these are lifed, so depending on how many running hours they've had, you have to swap them all. It makes cars look really cheap. I was literally about to say that. <laughs> it does, right? It makes cars look so cheap. So they've sort of put the real heavy hitting kit, including the big choppers at the front, so all of the hypercars and all of the major big boy helicopters are sort of front, front sitting. It's just cool, the coolest thing. For some reason, I don't know why this hasn't happened sooner over here. Because when, when you're here, it's so obvious and so cool. I was talking to someone about um, registrations, right? So apparently the UK is G, so that's why you'll see lots of, of Gs. You can register G as a prefix and then four letters afterwards. And we looked for a, um, a G Mera plate, plate as it were, and there's one available. So anyone who's got a G Mera coming in the UK could register their helicopter to match the car, <laughs> which would be cool, wouldn't it? They're only building 125 of them. Yes. Um, they do a Jesco Attack, which is this, and they okay. do a Jesco Absolute. Yes. And the primary difference is a change in aero. Right. So this is a, a uh, more higher downforce pack. The point of the absolute yeah. is to reach a higher top speed, whereas this is slightly more track focused. It's capable of producing 1600 horsepower, weighs less than a GT3 RS with 1600 horsepower. The most impressive thing is actually, and this is going to sound super strange, is how usable it is going slowly. And the reason I say that is 1600 horsepower 10 years ago would have been a handful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, yeah, we're driving so around, just driving around town. All of those zones that we drove around during that filming were, were 20 mile an hour zones. To make 1600 horsepower so accessible at 20 miles an hour. And I know this is a really strange chat to have about something that's conventionally yeah. so fast. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah. Um, it's a really usable car. The transmission and where it sits in relation okay. to the rear the wheels is just nuts. So if you look at the back line of the rear wheels, yes. the back of the transmission sits inside the circumference of the rear wheels. Seriously? Yeah, I mean, if you look on, on anything, like take a, a fairly contemporary supercar, like a McLaren yes. 720S, for example, the back of the transmission finishes here. It's, it's just yeah. insane. Like, so, it's, I mean, it's, it's just an entirely different way of, uh, of building a box. So it's technically as well, it's not a gearbox, it's a clutch box. So it okay. swaps compound clutch sets. It, it means that you can select any gear at any time. So unlike a twin clutch box, which only has two gears, which are pre-optioned. On this, if, if you have the available RP RPM, you can go from seventh to second in one hit, which like, just like, it, just like that, yeah, it's a bank, yeah, yeah, it's totally nuts. Well, it's less than a Golf R with more horsepower than a Chiron. You know, so if you want to, you know, put those two, it's, it's quite hard to really contextualize it. I mean, like if you look at, um, like what's really fast, McLaren Senna, for example, right? It's around about 800 horsepower. Yes, yes. Um, and it weighs not dissimilar to that. So you add another 800 horsepower with and then change with, with no change in weight and then you have the same aero load as a Valkyrie wow. on it and, performance. Yeah, and an even lower center of gravity. It's really hard to sort of, you know, package it. Yeah. Where do we go from this? The gym, the gym era yes. is, is, is a four-seater version of this. So it has the, the same engine yes. and it has a similar drivetrain, yes. but it... There is, there's a three cylinder and okay. a V8. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also a hybrid drivetrain in the Jumeirah. So okay. the Jumeirah weighs less than a 918 with 2,300 horsepower. So the, the power to weight of that is crazy, right? So so your question is really answered by that. And it's got, yes. it's got four seats, eight cup holders, and four of them are heated and four of them are cooled. And it's, it's Apple CarPlay and it's, it's super chilled. And, also, there's no B pillar at all. So, because okay. the whole tub of a 
Jumeirah, it's just like a carbon cave. Carbon, yeah. So the torsional stiffness of it allows them to have no okay. B posts. So so ingress and egress, getting right. in and out, is super easy because yes. there's no posts. So you can yes. just sort of like fall I saw into how it. Yeah, when the cool. doors open, it's yeah. really massive. And they come out like this, man. They're like oh, really okay. huge doors. Is that good? Yeah. Full carbon. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate well, this. No, not at all, man. Thank you for saying hi. It's always a pleasure to share. So double tap that ghost there, like quite hard. Guys, check this out. Wow, that's fantastic. I never get old, man. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Thanks, buddy. Thank you so Cheers. much. Cheers. No, no, Cheers. thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thanks, thank buddy. You. Thank you. Your competition, mate. Mate, they're all coming through, man. I wish I started that young. I've heard about this guy. He's got 22 million followers. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I think that's the air conditioning flap. So inside is like this little sort of choke button and you pull it and I think this flap <laughs> opens and, it, and, it, and then all of a sudden like nice fresh air comes in at like 140 mile an hour. Like when you look at them, they're really quite simple. Yeah. But I suppose they just have to be ultra light, don't they? But being in it, it was really stable. I've been in a couple of Robinson R44s and they aren't as stable. They sort of have a shake about them. Like the whole thing shakes a bit. Was this was really balanced, and I loved talking with the pilot. I was like, "What's this do? What's that do? Don't touch it!" <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about, but it's fascinating observing it. You know, the appeal of the efficiency is what appeals to me. It's not, it's not the ballerness of it. It's the I just did like a like an hour and forty drive in forty minutes, if that, probably half an hour. It's just frictionless. So it's so good. That looks like a Ron Burgundy news helicopter. That the, isn't reporting live from Miami Beach. I don't know what it is. We're going to go Look live to Gregory Clay, who's <laughs> just over the M1. It's Bell Jet Ranger 3. Let's just Google this. What era do we think we're thinking of? Jet Ranger 3, right? 1977. You are kidding me. A For, late this 70s is 40, helicopter. This is 46 years old. Bell Jet Ranger. Look at the font on it. It looks like it's from the 70s. That's still influenced by the jet age. <laughs> Is that oil, or has it chopped a bird's head off on the way in? <laughs> Looks like a 70s smoking lounge. I, I like being around industries I know nothing about. You, like, you learn a lot, and you're forgiven for asking the stupid questions. Mm. This black one's cool. G-mode. Did your, did your guy have an iPad? Yeah, uh, an iPad. Oh yeah. That's from the local um, garage. Straight out of the local petrol station. Full court. That's a pretty serious helicopter as well. Phenomenal shape, that car. It's just incredible, isn't it? Like sculpturally, when that launched, that rocked the industry. Total game changer. Mate, old tires on this. The tires are about to break up, man. You need some new Michelins. That tire's a 2017 tire. Right, so how you can tell, this on a Michelin tells you the week and year. So 22 is the 22nd week of 2017 seven-year-old tires you can kind of tell by the cracking this event uh, was uh, concepted because of Nigel and his helicopter community friend losing their friend Simon about three years and that's where we started our event off in 2022 so it's all about mental health I've got a feeling we're gonna go over the 14,000 at 14 at the back at 14 a minute I'll take one more I'll take it from you that's 40,000 Raised. Well, first of all, oh, what did you raise last year? No, so 2022, we okay. raised a uh, good £14,000. Okay. And that was amazing. That's amazing. Last year, didn't quite go to plan with raising money, but okay. we put on a good event. Yeah. Um, this year, with the owners giving owners given us yeah. a venue, sponsors coming on board yeah. and covering the cost of the event, then everything from tickets wise meant that we started off the event at eleven and a half thousand oh, pounds wow. raised already, yeah. which I was blown away. So I want to get to fourteen or more, <laughs> and then the first two items on the auction take us forty grand. And now I know we've hit over a hundred k. I know Gretchen from Mine Incredible, man. And St Andrew's Healthcare will be honestly like fifty k each. That's unbelievable. Event like Absolutely this spectacular, together, buddy. Unbelievable. Yeah. So thank you so much for your support. Mate, honestly, I what, think what, what you've, you've done, what like, you've done, every amazing. Time I've you've done amazing. To you, you've been like. What the hell is going on here? Well, I'm just, honestly, I'm not blowing smoke. I think the, the event is unbelievable. It's absolutely spectacular. Like, yeah. just the format of it. And when, when you're here, it's, it's so obvious, yeah. right? But I'm just uh, blown away by the 
caliber of it, the organization. I mean, there's one thing arranging cars to turn up, yeah. but arranging, well, how many 45, 50 helicopters to turn yeah, up? It's exactly a totally that. different story, isn't it? <laughs> so it's a Listen, James, congratulations, right. buddy. That's so don't spectacular. So don't get to watch this on YouTube. Yeah, it's going to be on the Uncut wow, channel. Wow, wicked. How often does this amount of helicopters get Quite together? Quite rare. Like, you'll, Is see, it, yeah? you'll see like maybe Silverstone, they have like 800 rotations. Yeah. You'll see this amount of helis. Okay. Um, so, so you don't have heli meets like you do car meets? They exist, yeah. yeah. Like this, but not this is it, right? This like is this? It. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And that's it? You won't do like right, one... No, it's not I do. So you've read it, it's so <laughs> cool. It's 100% so man. Like it, heli right? meets for everyone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely. just brilliant. How do they, how do they um, coordinate with each other to know... Uh, so, they'll, so they'll all be on radio, so there'll be a radio who's running here, so this guy. So this not, guy not, is the ground controller. Not basically. necessarily, no, there'll be somebody else. So they'll, ha they'll be running a frequency that everyone will be talking to. Okay. And then the um, all the pilots will be gauging into that frequency uh, and then coordinating, taking off. Because there's a tight concentration of choppers coming out of one spot, right? Exactly. But I mean, these, these are all sort of your, your single, single engine squirrels. Um, we're fortunate, we've brought two of ours down, which are both twin engines. Oh, they're awesome machines. Awesome machines. So that's a, <laughs> so that's a Koenigsegg. That one's that's a Koenigsegg. Yeah. Koenigsegg. And that one's a Porsche. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is it? Yeah? yeah. yeah. Okay. Like that. All right, yeah. cool. Uh, but yeah, I mean, something like that will run you about 4 million completely basic spec. Up okay. to about 7, 8 million. Depending on spec? Uh, depending on spec. Okay. Uh, or age. You know, right. Okay. Um, hours on the engines. days at the office I think I've ever had and also one of the most surreal I've just been walking around a car a, a field full of supercars and helicopters I can't actually put it all into words how good the day's been and we're just finishing it off with uh, a few shots of the car in front of Ollie's house and helicopter 